Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a reverse find function. Now you might be familiar with the find function typically used with left or with mid to help extract text from a cell but maybe in this example I want to extract the text after the last hyphen character. So you can see that the first one has two, the second one has one, the next one has two, the next one has three, etc. And I need the last one. So I want to go from the end of the string and search for the hyphen backwards rather than going from the start searching for it like you would typically do. Now I have already got the answer here on screen the formula is going to look like this. This is what it's going to look like. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to write this in front of your eyes and explain each part of it to you. Now, the first thing we need to do is find out how many occurrences of that character there are. So for me, how many occurrences of a hyphen? And this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to use the substitute function. This is a really useful function when manipulating text. And I'm going to use this to look at cell A2 and to replace all occurrences of a hyphen with nothing. So I've got an empty string there. That's what I'm going to get it to do. And then what I'm going to use is another function called len which calculates how many characters there are in a cell in a string and I'm going to count how many occurrences there are in that cell and subtract how many occurrences there are once I've removed the hyphens from it so what we have here find out how many characters there are in a2 and subtract how many characters there are once I've replaced the hyphen with nothing. So if I run that part of the formula and I copy that down, you see how that works. That is calculating how many occurrences of that character there are. Two, one, two, three, one. That is absolutely correct. My ultimate goal here is to extract all the text after the final hyphen. So what I want to do next is replace the final hyphen with a different character that is unique because then I can do a find function on a unique character easily. So back into the formula and it's time for another substitute function. That's how I can replace it with another character. I'm going to look at cell A2. I'm going to replace the old text, which is the hyphen, with the new text, and I'm just going to put a asterisk in there. You know, you can put any character you want as long as it's unique. It'll be a question mark or a slash or anything. I'm putting in that asterisk, and then it prompts me for the instance, sorry, instance number. Now, I've already got this formula in here that's calculating how many there are. So that basically will come back with like the last one, like the last instance. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm just going to put a closed bracket on the end there. So I'm kind of saying replace the final hyphen with an asterisk. And then I can hunt down that unique character for my extraction. Please just bear in mind that if you wanted something like the second from last hyphen or the third from last hyphen or whatever character you're using, you can simply put like a little takeaway one on the end here. So I find out how many there are, you know, subtract one. So it's the second from last. So in my example, I'm doing the last hyphen. Uh, but for you, this is the ability of doing that reverse find. You know, it's given the appearance of kind of looking backwards by finding the last one, the second from last one. Okay, so let me press enter on there and you can see what that's doing on its own 
is it's just replacing the last occurrence of a hyphen with an asterisk. And now we're on to the next part of the formula. Now in this last part of the formula, it's time now to actually extract the text. So at the start of the formula, it's going to be the right function. I'm taking text from the end. That's going to prompt me where the text is. It's A2. And then it will prompt me for how many characters. Now it depends how many there are after the last hyphen. So I'm going to do a similar thing here to what I did in the very first kind of part of the formula when I calculated how many hyphens there are. Kind of a similar behavior here. I'm going to use the len function to find out how many characters there are in total. And I'm going to subtract from that the position of the last one. And now to find that, that's where the find function will come in. That is going to find the asterisk. So that's what I've put as a marker in place of the last one, isn't it? Within this piece of text, all that stuff that's there. So I'll close bracket on the end there. That is the find function being closed. So then I need one more for the right function. And if I run this, that is extracting the last two characters. So let me open it up one more time. This is saying take some text from the end, ask how many. We'll find out how many there are in total and subtract from that the position of the asterisk. So you look in the one below and what it's going to do, it's going to say, oh, it's the, the asterisk is the third character. In total, there are four. Four, take away three, take one from the end. Is how it's going to work. So that is the final formula. I can now copy that down and that will extract the text of what I need. So I'm extracting text after the final delimiter, the final hyphen here. As I mentioned earlier in this video, you can adapt this so it finds the second from last or the third from last, performing what appears like a reverse find uh, formula. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of my other video tutorials on my YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.